आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ इन दिस क्वेश्चन स्टेटमेंट दैट हीट लॉस और हीट के डिपेंड्स अपॉन द सर्फिस एरिया ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिज्म बॉडी नाउ वी टू एक्सप्लेन द स्टेटमेंट विद हेल्प ऑफ अटेबल एग्जाम्पल नाउ वी ऑल नो दैट एन इको सिस्टम इज अ स्ट्रक्चरल एंड फंक्शनल यूनिट ऑफ नेचर इन विच वी सी दैट लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स ऑफ मेनी स्पीशीज को एग्जिस्ट दस कंप्राइजिंग अ बायोलॉजिकल कम्युनिटी और अ बायोटिक कम्युनिटी बट ऑल ऑफ द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स इन अ बायोटिक कम्युनिटी ऑल्सो हैव टू इंटरक्ट विद द ए बायोटिक कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ एन इको सिस्टम एंड the major abiotic components which can affect the lives of organisms are temperature then we have water both the quantity and quality then we have sunlight which is somewhat related to the temperature because if there is more sunlight the temperature is also going to be higher and then we have soil so these are the four major abiotic factors which can affect the living organisms directly and out of these temperature is very significant because what we see is that temperature can directly affect the kinetics of enzymes on which the living organisms are dependent so by regulating the kinetics of enzymes temperature has a direct effect on the physiology and the metabolism of living organisms so what they are saying here is that heat loss or heat gain depends upon the surface area so this is correct we see that to survive in different conditions of temperature because obviously in most of the habitats there is going to be fluctuation of temperature from day to night and also on a seasonal basis so living organisms either have to regulate their body temperature either they should have the ability to maintain homeostasis to maintain a constant internal environment in their body despite the changing ambient conditions the changing ambient temperature their internal body temperature should remain constant or they should have other mechanisms some other adaptation which will help them survive in the changing temperature so what we see is generally that heat loss or heat gain occurs according to the surface area so the ratio of surface area and volume should be such that the surface area relative to the volume is not very much otherwise the body heat of the organism will not be trapped inside and it is very difficult to maintain the homeostasis because through a large surface area heat tends to be lost to the environment quickly and this is why in areas where the temperature is very low we are generally not going to see the animals which are very small in size so this rule that we have just stated gives us an ideal example of this situation of this statement in the polar areas we are generally going to find mammals or in general animals which are relatively larger in size because the temperature is very low and if the surface area is much higher as compared to the volume of the body then heat will be lost quickly and it will be very difficult to survive in this low temperature so the animals with large surface area compared to volume will not be found in areas where temperature is very low or climatic conditions are very harsh class 6 to 12 se leke neat iit je mains or advanced ke level tak 10 million se zyada students ka bharosa aaj hi download kare doubtnet app ya whatsapp kijiye apne doubts 8400400400 400 400 400 par